I do have business here. Yeah. What What is it you're doing? So what kind What kind of What kind of business do you need? Well, like I said, I prefer not to discuss it with you okay, at this point. I'm sorry. So you're calling the police. Yep. Calling the police. You're, you're loitering, and that's it. It's, uh, so as long as he's not interfering with the customers, he's not interfering with your guys' work, then um, it's, like I said, it's a public area. Okay. Okay. So loitering is legal? Oh, we already talked about this one. Yeah. The video shows different. Yeah, but Now we're going to talk about the video. The video shows different, but... Now, now I'll be coming after you. Now, Bay fam, you might wonder why I have these cups with nice flowers in my hands right now. We're here at the Twin Rivers School District office. I told you guys about a really, really nice lady, but I want you to know she's going to get one of these. She's actually going to get this one right here. And this flower cup right here is going to go to the nice lady at the regional training center where Cat Marley was. What's going on, Bay fam? Today we're back in Sacramento, California. We're gonna go to the Center Branch Post Office. We're gonna go talk to Rico, as he says his name is. We're gonna go talk to his coworkers about the bad reviews regarding Rico and this post office. Hopefully everything goes well. We're gonna do our employee conduct check. We don't want anybody doing anything crazy like what happened last time with Rico. Hopefully everything goes good. Everybody does their job the right way. We're gonna get to it. It's BAT, baby, let's go do what we do. It's our boy Rico there. Uh, yeah, here in a bit. Just gonna record. Just gonna record for a bit, but yeah, in a bit. Yeah. So if you don't have any business here, bro, you're gonna have to leave because otherwise you're loitering. I uh, I have business. No, you have business here. I just said I have business. Yeah. Okay. What 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 are you? What can I help you with? Uh, I'm I'm not prefer not so to discuss it with you. Here. I do have business here. Yeah. What what is it you're doing, sir? What kind what kind of, what kind of business do you need? Well, like I said, I prefer not to discuss it with you okay, at this point. Right. So. Calling the police. Yeah. Calling the police. You're, you're and that's it. So. Okay. <laughs> this guy is crazy. I'm not in line if you want to do your thing. I don't know. My bad. This guy is crazy, bro. He's calling the police because he says I'm loitering. I told him I have business here. <laughs> and he's calling the police. This guy, he doesn't make any sense. He hasn't learned a lesson at all. Well, we got gender outside. Let me ask some questions. Just ask a quick question here. How you doing, gender? Have you seen the reviews on Google and Yelp? about you guys like this post office have you checked any of them out they're really about rico not really about you hey you haven't seen any of the bad reviews there's a bunch of bad reviews i just was wondering if i could ask you how do, if you read reviews like that that are talking about the way he acts and like his personality and what he did how would you feel about like working with somebody like that that acts that way. Well, I've been working with him since 1997, 25 years. 97, wow, you've been here a while. Oh, yeah, I've been, well, next week it's going to be 26 years. Nice, retired. <laughs> oh, I'm retired. I'm <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so if you've seen bad reviews, how would you feel about, like, would you want to work at a post office like that with, like, well, the bad reviews? or? It's actually, um, I've known him so many years, that's just Rico, but then, you know, he's really actually good to me. I really don't have good customers, you know, it all depends. He's actually kind of honest guy. Like when he tells people to do what they need to do because the package raises more, uh -huh. they get frustrated. That's all it is because of the pricing and everything. He's kind of really honest about the things that happen. Gotcha. So it's just the way he kind of explained it. Maybe. So you think people are are more frustrated with him because of the packaging, because like the, the issues with the pricing, or yeah, no, so the, the way, way he explains it? it. Probably, you know, they probably just didn't want to hear it with the way it was because it's more expensive. The price but no, he's actually a really. I had 1997. I haven't had problems with him. 
Gotcha. Has your has your guys' supervisor talked to you at all after the incident about recording in here and being able to record in here? They they talked to you guys? Yeah, they say it's fine. They can record them. Okay, but he's still calling the cops. <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, I just thought I'd ask you. You know, you work here and you have more of a perspective. I'm here two hours, one day, right? Two days, and so I don't get a lot of a perspective. So I thought I would ask you how you felt about it. Um, look, you should check the reviews and see and, and see if you feel like they're true or not true. Or no, that's that's why I just had some que just questions about how you felt about it with yeah, the. I've been like I said, twenty five years. Twenty five years. So you're used to him. Is that what it is? <laughs> Well, I'm just like, you know, I know what kind of person he is. Uh-huh. He's actually a pretty friendly person. Pretty nice to me, like, friendly, but it's just... Why does he seem so aggressive sometimes? Is that just part of his personality, or...? That's probably that's just him. It's just him, got you. <laughs> what about... So one thing I wanted to ask about, um, I was actually hoping to maybe ask him, but he didn't, he didn't want to talk to me, but... They, there's some complaints that say when you guys are supposed to open at like what is it eight thirty or nine or something, yeah, but it's late. But it's always late. They're like they're supposed to open at eight thirty, but it's always at nine or close till nine or something like that. Does that happen often or is that? <laughs> no, it probably happened like last week when we called in sick. They don't have any help. Gotcha. I was yeah, things there. happen, right? Yeah, things happen. I was running late. Got because you. I start at 8.45. I don't start at 8.30. So he opens it. He opens it up. Got you. So when he called in, like, nobody had a management from the other side. So I ran. Yeah, that makes, it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, sometimes things happen. Like, no, that's. not every time. It's just sometimes. Yeah. Situations like that. Okay. They can't send a, another body and say right away, let's turn somebody we just found out he called it right 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 okay yeah i was just c concerned about those couple things and i was seeing i'm like are they always opening late what's going on i actually meant to be here at at uh, 8 30 today but i couldn't make it i had some other things planned so thank you i appreciate you i hope you have a good day uh huh jay yep good good to meet you i'm back in heading out here you go. Let Thank me get you. let me get the door for you. You're so kind. No problem. Have a good day. We're gonna go ahead and hop back in there. We got to talk a little bit with Regender, and she was really nice. Um, and she even said the supervisors told him it was okay. Rico still decided to call the police because he said it's loitering. It's not in any way, shape, or form loitering. Loitering in California, the definition is being somewhere without a purpose. I am not here without a purpose. I have a very, very clear purpose. I'm recording. Um, and I came to ask questions, and I was glad I actually got to ask Regender these questions outside when she wasn't around Rico. And she didn't possibly feel pressured, I guess I'll say, to answer a certain way. Why? Well, yeah, I scare you? <laughs> yeah, the that incident was was not good, right? It was crazy. Do, do, being honest with you, to it, it scares me to come. That's why when you saw me Friday, and I I didn't even come back in because I was nervous to come back in because I don't want to be to be attacked like that, you know. So it scares me too, though. You're not the only one scared. Trust me. <laughs> right. 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 Yeah. There. So there's some uh, laws that went through. Uh, one of the cases is called a Musameki case, and it was a guy who was standing outside of a federal building, I think in uh, New York, and he was just taking pictures of the building, and the security came and tackled him, and uh, he filed a lawsuit, and they said, no, we need to change the laws that you can take pictures all you want, and then another person was doing it at like a. Um, where you could like come into the country customs and uh, uh, they arrested them and then their lawyers sued too and they said no they can inside outside they can take pictures as long as it's public they're fine you guys can't do that because it's the first amendment right to gather news right yeah. and part of it what it is is like see how you guys treat the customers and things like that and that's where the news comes in that's why when I did some digging that's why I came here the first time I saw the reviews 
and I just wanted to see how is it and then all that crazy stuff happened you know and I'm just trying to see now and do follow-ups to make sure that it stops you know it needs to stop you're very nice but that other situation was really crazy you know yeah catch it so How's it going? John, I'm good. I'm good, man. Okay. Do you have any business that you're doing here? Yeah. What business are you doing? Right now I'm recording. Okay. So just do me a favor. Um, don't interfere with... I don't need directives, but I don't typically do favors. But I don't break the law, if that's what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, I won't break the law. Just don't interfere with the customers and uh, your, their job duties. Yeah, I don't, I don't break the law, man. Okay. Did you hear what I said? I don't. That's all I don't, I'm asking you to do. Yeah, so thank I, you for that. I appreciate it. It's, uh, so as long as you're not interfering with the customers, you're not interfering with your guys' work, then um, it's like I said, it's called very okay. okay. So loitering is legal. Oh, we already talked about this one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Have a good day, guys. It's crazy it takes all that for him to understand this. I just don't understand it. Notice he didn't answer it. And uh, what is illegal is when you assault somebody like you assaulted me. So. Oh. But that's all right. Yeah, the video shows different, bud. Now, now I'll be coming after you. Okay. You, you, will, be, you will have a restraining order. I wish you all the best, Rico. Got any comment on on breaking my stuff and assaulting me last time? Yeah, phys physical assaults are are uh, required in the This guy is his his reality is like his reality is twisted. So you have a sack sheriff's are still out front. Probably either looking me up, talking about me, or waiting for me to leave. I don't know which one, but to give it, do a little revisit. How's it going, bud? Any comment on attacking me and breaking my other gimbal? You're not gonna assault me this time, are you? Any comment on uh, attacking me and breaking my other gimbal? You're buddy? not gonna assault me this time, are you? That means no comment. I'm trying to see if there's comments about it. And it's funny in his twisted brain, he thinks that I'm the one who assaulted him when uh, I believe the police and his bosses and everybody else told him he assaulted me. <laughs> That's the crazy part. Hey, Karen, how are you doing? Man? Good. Yourself? Good. Now, Bay Fam, you might wonder why I have these cups with nice flowers in my hands right now. And the reason is, when I was over here at the Twin Rivers School District office, I told you guys about a really, really nice lady who asked me really nicely and politely to keep her off video. She knew I could record. She knew it was my right, but she asked me not to, so I did. I did not record her. I did not put her in that video, but she was so nice. And after the lady, Roberta, slammed the door in my face, I went and talked to her and told her that she was the only one 
someone that was nice to me and she was even sweeter to me at that point i'm gonna go give her these flowers i'm not gonna record her again she asked me not to and i know why i'm not gonna put that out there but I, she's not gonna be on camera but i want you to know she's gonna get one of these she's actually gonna get this one right here and this flower cup right here is gonna go to the nice lady at the regional training center where cat marley was you remember cat marley with the baton there was that little nice old lady that was there she was so sweet she walked me out i will take you guys for that trip because we're gonna go do a revisit at cat marley's office as well and all the other ladies in there and see how they do but what we're gonna do is spread a little positivity a little kindness for these ladies these public employees that did their job the right way and were nice and understood our rights and were sweet it's bat go ahead and stop recording now on this and uh see how it goes but here's bay b baby twin river school district unified school district and hopefully everything goes well here and this lady does a good job again well, let's see what if we can give her these oh this is absolutely the wrong lady how you doing good where's the other lady that was sitting here last time uh she, well you were over there right and then there was another lady that was here is she no longer at this area she's no longer at this area well, well okay what area is she in she's back at the main entrance she's in the main entrance correct okay beautiful appreciate it thank you very much anything else we can do for you no that's about it roberta i appreciate you you guys get a training after last time when the video came out? Um, you don't know if you guys got training? It hasn't been applied yet. It hasn't been applied yet. Okay. Well, hopefully you guys will get training soon. Cool. Let's see here. What is this? Take this. We will take this and see if we can scan this. Are you trying to enroll a student? Tell us what that is. No, but this is a, I disseminate public information to people. So if people want to or are trying to, I'll put this out there for them so that they'll get it. Okay, wonderful. It'd be awesome. Anything else we can help you with today? Nope, not at this moment. I'm just going to continue to take a couple pictures. Sure, you can write it in. I will. Thank you. Have a good day. You guys see the difference in treatment at this point? It, it, there's a big difference, right? Roberta sure didn't act like that last time, did she? But this time, she's very calm. She understood that you're a public worker and you can be recorded and that's that. And, uh, you know, it looks like somebody beat me to bringing flowers as a matter of fact but i can guarantee they weren't for roberta because she's kind of grumpy all the time <laughs> my whole point was to go into the nice lady's office first and give these to her i'm not a, not a friendly lady yet how's it going how you doing huh i said you look like you might be looking for somebody can i help you let me ask you a question sure somebody can, I, you look slightly familiar but i don't think it's you Somebody came here. It's her. Hey, Miss Hello. Liz. Here you go. Oh, my Thank goodness. Thank you so much for being so nice last oh, time. Oh, I know who you are Again, now. you are not on camera. Oh, hold oh, on. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let me Thank give her those flowers, baby. No more flowers in my hands. It's B-A-T. Let's go give the next set of flowers out and check back up on Cat Marley. Right. I enrolled students entrance only. Well, where's the public entrance at? Don't make no damn sense. Lynetta, that's her name. Lynetta, are you in there? Sounds like she's in there. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. Do you remember you? me? Yes. I think I promised you flowers, and here are your flowers. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's so no problem. Thank you for being exceptional Thank when I was you. here last time. You're a sweetie. Take care of yourself. Yep, no problem. Take care. I will. I always behave myself. <laughs> All right. There we go. Let's see if I can get my, my records request here. Ding dong. Oh. That's all our 
friend. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm here to pick up a records request that I had uh, submitted. When did you submit it? Ooh, probably uh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Alright, I'm going to get my records request. Hopefully all the stuff's here. But, I never know. Looks like everything's moved from that counter where you should be able to go to this one. This door is closed now and added. Actually, this was not here last time. But, everybody took off with hoodies on instead of just doing their job the right way. Uh, what I don't understand is what would they do if I sat here for like two, three hours and recorded? Would they just not work for two, three hours? Oh. Oh, sure. Sure, sure. Yeah. These are for the public to so take I guess these. Ready for you at the ten day mark, and then and now he's not here, so it's not on his desk anymore. But I'm going to give him a call. Yeah, Let's maybe see. it's somewhere around here or something. It could be. Yeah, maybe cool. he left it with somebody else. I'll check. That works for me. Hey, John, um, somebody is here to pick up a records request. Let's see what else can I get here. Right uh -huh. across the curriculum. Second yeah. language. This candy for the public? No. It's not for the public? It's just for you guys or what? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Why do they have it up here on the counter then? I don't think that that's probably the right answer. I bet you this is for whoever wants it. But I'm assuming because I have a camera, it's not for me, so. Could you give me a name for this? I wanna make sure that you're the right person to be giving this to uh, I didn't give a name when I when I uh, submitted it. Okay, were you here before? I was, yep, when with a camera, here? the oh. big video. <laughs> when were you here? <laughs> uh, I don't remember. Was it like probably a couple weeks ago? Yes, yeah, public records. It really doesn't matter. Who no, it is, but I just want to make sure that who's it's me accepting these. Yeah, it's okay. it's me. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's the right person. Okay. Uh, are these for the public? Can I take one of them? Sure. Sure, they are for the public. There. All right, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, maybe I will stay. Is there anything else I can do for you? Or? No, no, no. I'm gonna look at these. Maybe grab one, and then I'm out of here. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. All right. So. Oh, I already you. oh got it. Okay. Yep. So you got me. Ooh, what is this? This is a flash drive. So this, the security guard said that these are not for the public. And then the lady who worked here came out and very clearly and nicely said, yes, they are. No problem. Go ahead and grab them. So that's my thing. Obviously, the security guard has an issue. Um, and, you know, these if these are for the public, what's the point of saying, no, they're not? And you can't have one, right? Like, I just don't get what the point of that is. I was literally going to be in and out, but I think I'll hang out for a minute just to see how things go in here and how people get treated. I mean, obviously, that to me is a sign that the lesson wasn't learned um, and taken very well. They're probably extremely pissed off uh, that I'm back. Did you just not know that these were available to the public or for the candies? I'm just asking asking her if she as I asked no, I if the not, I did not know. Oh, you didn't know. Okay, cool. Awesome. Cool. All right, let's see. It says the same thing right here. So this is another open entrance and they have the same sign right here. So the only two ways you can come in, they're basically saying if you don't go to school here, you're not enrolled, you can't come here. You can't come here and enroll. You can't do anything. You can't be here. And that's not okay, and it's not true. It is ridiculous. 